There's an abundance of nutrients for these creek fish to feed on under the water. You've got crawfish, tadpoles, minnows, all kinds of stuff. But most of their food actually comes from above the water, insects. These fish, they'll actually sit in these shade pockets back here and they'll wait for a little insect like a grasshopper or a cricket to fall off that tree. And as soon as it hits the water, man, they just swarm in there and kill it right away. Oh, man, there was about four of them that went for it. Cute little guy. This is the Rebel Crick Hopper. And it's one of the most legendary creek fishing lures ever invented. Check out the profile of this guy. It's got these beefed up legs in the back, so it pulls off the disguise of an actual cricket or grasshopper really well. Oh, I finally got a little bass. I think, that's not bass. Oh, that's a chub. One of the main characteristics of this crick hopper is the lip. This is designed to have a big surface area so you can actually spit and throw water when you work it as a top water. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, he took a swing at it. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's a little small mouth. That's too cool. My absolute favorite fish to catch, small mouth. They are honed in on this guy. That is how you know you're throwing the right bait right there. When they hit it sideways like that. And when you work the crick hopper like a topwater bait, you want to do it with short little twitches of your rod tip. But if you feel like you're not getting bit by using it as a topwater bait, what makes the crick hopper so awesome, when you straight reel that crick hopper back to you, that lip will actually bring it under the surface of the water and make it dive like a crankbait. So you can trigger reaction strikes with it too. There's a bunch of smallmouth in there. Regarding your rod and reel setup, you'll definitely want to go with an ultralight style combo. I'd recommend nothing heavier than six pound test line and remember to use monofilament because monofilament floats at the top of the water, just like a crick hopper. There he is. Boy, these creek smallies fight really good. Man, you just find you a little deeper water. A lot of times that's where these bigger fish are gonna be hanging out at. And that's how versatile this creek hopper is. I mean, we were working it real slow on the top, and as soon as I switched my retrieval and burned it right past him under the water, he hit it. There's one. Big perch. He's a fat one too. Oh. Man, these creek fish were absolutely biting lights out. I think we're about ready to call it a day. So next time you're out fishing a creek, make sure to give this little creek hopper a shot. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments section below, I want you to tell me what your favorite creek fishing lure of all time is.